how do they feel about you or what is going on how are they feeling about you and your connection going to split the deck into four four elements four seasons most importantly for angels offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind down this side is you down the other side is them welcome back to hope to have a daily my name is angie i'm a tarot card reader from england down the middle is a connecting energy private readings are available i have valentine's readings available and all of the good things in the recent past, you've been feeling a little bit compromised on this situation. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, you're like, am I single, am I not? What's going on? They've been in a world of confusion with the Seven of Cups reversed. They've been, kind of feels like they've been putting you in limbo. It's like we're in a relationship, but are we? Are we really? What do I want? I don't know what I want. Um, you've been wondering if they're going to fight for you or walk away with the Five of Swords in the middle kind of feels like they're like I need a little bit more time I need a little bit more time if you cut them off they would um they'd be very unhappy so they need to buck their ideas up we have the knight of pentacles for you at the moment you're feeling this slow drip towards long-term commitment um and, and you want it you know you want to do it right um you're frustrated because in your head you're not single you're not single at all You've got feelings and invested. They've got the lover's card reversed at the moment. There's this confliction. The traditional meaning of the lover's card is being pulled between choices. And we have to go with what makes us feel good. At the moment, they're conflicted. So all of these choices that they had, it's now down to two. And it's are they in it or are they not? All the, all of the rest of the foggy confusion, it doesn't really matter it's they're, they're either going to commit or they're not um we've got the star reversed in the middle of you both at the moment which is people's closed attitudes but also dealing with someone who's very very stubborn and it feels like we're dealing with someone who is very very stubborn uh and i quite like them if you've watched my readings before i'd soon say if i don't like someone's energy i like them i do it's just this confliction i've got isn't it you're moving on to the magician, which is you manifesting this, recognising what's on the table for you. Once you recognise what's on the table for you, you know what to do with it. They're moving on to the Knight of Cups reversed, which feels like they're not overly romantic. They're scared of commitment. They're scared of letting you down. The Knight of Cups reversed sometimes is very good at telling us what we want to hear or not opening up at all. Um, it's like all the paths are blocked and everything. But then in the middle of you both is the Knight of Swords, which is this action and the communication between you both and things speeding up quite a bit. It's almost like driving with the handbrake on. They may say, yay, we're committed, but let's not tell anyone. Let's not change our Facebook status. Let's not do all of the things just yet, but we're together. Maybe that's what the Knight of Cups reversed is about. You know, them, them being like that. And I think... That may annoy you a bit, but also it gives you something. And I don't think it's that they don't want a relationship. I think that they do. They're just very scared of them. Very, very scared. I'm going to pull some oracle cards. What else do you need to know? How are they feeling? I'm going to do a nine card spread. How do they feel? Thank you for being here with me today. What is weather like where you are right now? It's quite sunny and cold and a little bit windy here. Courage. They've got to find their courage, haven't they? Lighten your load. Stop taking all the responsibility and clarity. The moment of clarity is coming here because you've got the Knight of Swords in between you both moving forward. It's almost like they're going to tell you a secret or they're going to let you in on something and it's going to make you feel a little better. It's going to feel like the world's lifting off your shoulders. We've got new beginnings for the both of you. Very nice. Life purpose, you're meant to be together. And then we have grieving. There's something here that they need to let go of so that they can be with you. Um, or so that they can take that next step. It's not about whether they're going to be with you or not because they're with you and they like you and they care about you and they're really scared of the L words and all of the things. 
But there's something that they need to let go of to make it happen. Maybe that's a process that they're going through right now. Maybe they're grieving an actual like loss within their family or friends. Um they they wish there was there was some this there's, there's someone who's around them in spirit and they wish that that person had got to meet you. And that makes them feel sad. It's like they, they would have loved you. They they would have thought you were great. So we have financial health, money coming in, that's really nice. Building a family together, that's really lovely as well. And being supported by the family and trusting one another. Slowly, slowly, you'll get there. How do they feel there? They're all up in the air, aren't they? They need to do what makes their heart sing and they're, they're fighting against it at the moment. They're resisting it. They're not avoiding it. Um, they're just being cautious and of course when someone's cautious it makes you think we don't they don't like us they do like you there's something very very lovely here if i could fast forward you both to two years in two years wow you know so that's what i have i'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so you angels take you anyway thank you so much for being here with me today if you're a regular or just here in general um welcome to the purple heart gang hardly any of you make it right to the end of the reading rosie my pretty little tuxedo cat she is she's made the land in her home i came out of my bedroom this morning and like she's got her knitted blankets out there that my mum's knitted for her she's such a big lala she's 12 nearly she's 12 this year but she's got this toy tower thing with balls in it on there she's got a lace with a little um, plush toy tied to it she's got all this stuff and it's all on the landing and you have to step all over it she's got a bag of treats out there it's like a little nursery it's like a little home I was like, oh hello good morning she just totally ignored me of course because she's sleeping on a towel she's got two cat beds she's got blankets so she sleeps on the damp towel because that makes sense cats just do what they want to do don't they i hope you're fine um it's my birthday week coming up my diary is going to be closed for a few days but they're available to book for when i get back um and i've got valentine's readings as well my valentine's readings that i'm doing you can either have new love coming towards you or you can have a compatibility reading. You could book both if you like, but they're on their own page on my website. Um, and I've uploaded my ebook at last. If you're a long time viewer, I've been talking about this for about a year and I finally got it and it's finally there. You can check it out if you want. I don't mind if you don't. It's just there if anyone wants to have a little look. Um, thank you for being here with me. I hope January's gone and that's great. And I hope you're. February energy is flooding in and you're looking forward to the rest of the year and I will see you soon.